Welcome to day 11 of Advent of Code 2024. I don't have a recording for today because I took too long on the puzzles. Part two was especially challenging, um, and I also got sick, so that delayed me for a bit. That's why days 11, 12, and 13 are all coming out at once. I wasn't able to record them uh, during the day, but we're going to resume regular operations, hopefully, starting with day 14. Anyways, day 11, we have a bunch of stones laid out in a line, and they change every time we blink. They change according to these three rules. So if a stone has the number zero on it, then when we blink, it's replaced by a stone with a number one. If a stone has a number that has an even number of digits, it's replaced by two stones. Um, the left stone is the left half of the digits and the right stone is the right half of the digits. So for example, 1000 would split into 10 and 00, zero and we don't keep leading zeros, so 00, zero just becomes zero. Otherwise, if the stone doesn't have a zero or doesn't have an even number of digits, then the stone's number is multiplied by 2024. And that's the stone that remains after we blink. So the question is, after we do this several times, so here's an example of a sequence of blinks changing the line of stones, what is the number of stones we will have after blinking 25 times? So for part one, pretty simple to simulate this. Um, you just read in the input, parse it into a list of integers, and then I wrote a little function here that takes in a list of integers and returns the stones after we blink. So we can initialize a new line of stones as an empty list, and then for every stone in the old list, we apply the rule. So if it's a zero, then we add a one. Um, if the stone has an even number of digits, so we turn it into a string and test for the length of that string, and then we split it in half, the left half and the right half, so there are two new stones in place of the one stone. Um, otherwise, if those two rules don't apply, then we add the stone times 2024. Then we apply this function 25 times to see what the stones look like after 25 blinks, and then we just print the length of that list at the end. For part two, we simply have to do this 75 times. So it's a lot more, and we can't afford to simulate all 75 steps. So instead, what we can do is sort of collapse things down. Instead of counting every stone separately, we only have to count the number of times that every distinct number appears. You know, there's going to be a lot of repeats. For example, there's going to be a lot of different zeros if we have, you know, zero being the first or second half of a number that has an even number of digits. So we could get many different numbers repeated and we just have to count the frequencies. So essentially we start out with a default dict, which is all zeros and count the number of numbers that appear in the original list. So I think here all the numbers are unique, so we're only gonna have values of one, and the keys are just the numbers that appear in this list. And this blink function takes in a dictionary and spews out another dictionary, which counts the frequencies of the numbers that appear after we blink. So the idea is more or less the same. Um, for every number in the original dictionary, if it's a zero, then we're gonna have as many ones as there were zeros. If the number is a even number of digits, then we're going to increase the frequency of the left half by however many numbers um, of the original kind there were, and similarly for the right half. Otherwise, if we multiply by 2024, then we increment the number times 2024 frequency by the original numbers, original frequency. And we just do that 75 times, print out the sum of the values in this new dictionary, and that's it for part two. All right, so day 11, I think the puzzles are definitely getting more challenging. If you want to see my code, it's linked to down in the description. I have a GitHub repository where I store my code to all the puzzles, so be sure to check that out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you tomorrow, or I guess whenever you watch it, um, for day 12.